Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day. It is Saturday, it is New Year's Eve day, and it is sometime in the afternoon. I have no idea what time it is. Let me check the time. It is 4.20 in the afternoon. It's a cloudy day, 30s. Um, yeah, so, all right. Um, so, Happy New Year's to all of you. I hope you enjoy your New Year's Eve and your New Year's Day. Please be safe out there. And let's get to what we're doing today. Um, I'm going to bake something. <laughs> I am making peanut butter bars. So I made these a year ago. And I have I don't know if I made them again since. So we're going to make them today. All right. I um, have my bowl in front of me. And we're just going to get to it. I need one cup of butter which is two sticks, softened, and we're just going to throw that right in it. And tonight we are not having any kind of like regular supper. Uh, it is going to be appetizer night for supper. And I'll show you what we have after I make these peanut butter bars. These are bars where you bake them. So you will need to turn on your oven to 350. And then we're going to do one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of brown sugar. One cup of granulated sugar and one cup of brown sugar. And we're going to crack two eggs into that. And one teaspoon of vanilla. And we're just going to go ahead and mix this up. I think I'm going to go ahead and get my hand mixer out. I have done it without the hand mixer, but I think I'm just going to do the hand mixer this time. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mix this. Okay, so I've got all that mixed in and now I'm going to add in some dry ingredients and I'm going to be, well, except the peanut butter. I got to add in some peanut butter, a cup of peanut butter, and I'm just going to eyeball the cup. And these, these peanut butter bars are really good. Actually, they um, I think all the flavors, just like any food, the flavors incorporate better and they taste better the next day. But this is going to be a full-size cookie sheet. My stomach is growling. Add a little bit more. Hmm. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> All right. And we're still going to need the peanut butter a little later on, so you might want to keep it out. All right, so that's our cup of peanut butter. And then we're going to do two cups of oats. And all I have are quick oats, but that's okay. That's what I used last time. And then we're going to do two cups of flour. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. Mm. 
Okay, one teaspoon of salt. And then one teaspoon of baking soda. I don't know if y'all can hear my stomach growling. It's so funny. <laughs> All right, so then we're just going to mix this together. And for mixing this, I'm going to use a heavy uh, metal spoon. And we'll try to keep all this flour inside the bowl. Yeah, these are really good. And so I don't know why I don't make them more often. But as much as this is going to make it, like I said, it's going to be a full cookie sheet. So we'll eat what we eat, but I'm going to end up freezing some of those bars. Which would be okay because then that would give us some already made dessert stuff in the freezer. So that would now give us peanut butter cookie dough in the freezer, chocolate chip cookie dough, apple pie filling, and then some chocolate bars will go in there. And then that makes it easier for the next time you just want to throw them in the oven. The chocolate, uh, the peanut butter bars, did I say chocolate bars? The peanut butter bars will obviously already be made. So that would be a matter of just taking them out, thawing them out, and eating them. Sounds like a lot of you have the same plans as we do. Uh, stay home and do nothing. It's safer that way. A lot of crazies out in the roads, drinking, whatever. We got this uh, all mixed up now. And now I'm just going to grab my cookie sheet and I'm going to spray it down. And now we're going to pour the dough into the cookie sheet. Okay, so now we're just going to spread the cookie sh or the dough all over the cookie sheet, but we don't want to go to the edges. We want to go short of the edges because we're going to put this in the oven for about 15 minutes at three, 350 degrees, and that's going to bake this, and when it bakes, it's going to expand to the edges. All right, so I've got my dough all spread out, and you can see I didn't go to the edges here. Um, so now I'm just going to put it in the oven for like 15 minutes and then take it out. And you want to have your peanut butter ready because as soon as this comes out, we have to start putting uh, little, um, globs of peanut butter all over this to get it soft enough to spread it out. So, all right, uh, put it in this for 15 minutes and we'll be back. Okay. So our peanut butter, uh, mix is done now. And now we're just going to take some peanut butter out of the spoon. But you don't want the globs to be too big because it'll take longer for them to soften up. And now we just want to put it all over. You don't want to press down on it because it's still soft. Just throw them on there. Okay, so now I've got my peanut butter all over, and you can see it's starting to melt. I don't know if you can tell from that angle, um, but you're going to just let it sit like this for like two minutes, and then we're going to come back and spread the peanut butter. Okay, so it's been two minutes, and you can see the peanut butter is pretty much melting on its own, but now we just want to spread it all over the cookie uh, sheet, or the cookie bar, rather. <laughs> As you can see, when it baked, it pretty much all went to the edges. Okay, so that's all spread out. Now we're just gonna, I'm going to put this on a cooling rack, let it cool. And then in a little while, we'll make the frosting and frost the cookie bar. All right, everyone. So just giving you... Uh, Almost the last look at my Christmas decorations here in the kitchen where I do most of my work. And I don't think I ever just went through with the camera. I might have, but I do put up uh, Christmas tins. So you got like old Hershey ones, M&M's, Looney Tunes, Reese's, just 
old-fashioned scenes and then the tablet here with the Christmas scene on it yes I still do listen to Christmas music and I got my snowman down there Christmas lights and yes I have been listening to Christmas music still I've watched a couple uh, Christmas movies but I'm listening more to the music than watching the movies but in just a day or so I'll leave this up through the Chris, uh, New Year's Day and then all this will get changed over to my winter decorations so stay tuned for that if you were with me last year you kind of almost know what it looks like if you remember but you'll have to uh, tune in to see what the winter decorations are going to look like and I think what it is is the reason I like to put lights on and decorations throughout the winter, I think it helps me get through the winter in a peaceful mode. Because I love lights. I love Christmas lights. I love like the blue and white uh, winter colors. And I think that just helps me peacefully get through the winter. So, so yeah, that's, uh, that's that. And down here... <laughs> I was just listening to Christmas music before I started doing the peanut butter bars and I have my Bluetooth speaker here and I have my mini disc men. This is very old and I have a mini disc that has Christmas carols on it and yeah I was just listening to music that I put on there years ago but I just wanted to show you some of the stuff we're having for our appetizers tonight. I did buy some more uh, crab flakes, so I'll make that um, mix for the crackers. We, we did get a thing of shrimp cocktail, and this is a 40 count. It was on sale, so I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, we don't buy this often. It's been, oh, I don't know how long it's been since we had any, but we at least like to have it for New Year's Eve. And then, uh, so yeah, there's a, a thing of cocktail sauce in the middle. I don't need it. Glenn does. I just uh, melt melt some butter and dip my shrimp in it. So yes, New Year's uh, New Year's Eve, we treat ourselves to some shrimp. And this isn't even the like real expensive shrimp, but it's just a shrimp tray that we like to have. And then Glenn likes to have this ma banish banish bench marinated herring he likes to eat that with crackers and he has that every new year's eve so we got that and then i'm going to make a taco salad not a taco salad a taco dip and these are going to be i did go to the store to get some uh little smokies and meatballs but they were out <laughs> yes so but that's fine we'll have enough appetizers with all this and then the peanut butter bars and we'll be fine we'll have plenty to eat on so but that's just a couple that's just the stuff we got for our appetizers so again tonight we're not having a regular supper it's going to be appetizers for supper on this new year's eve so i think i'm going to get to making the taco dip because i have to make that all right so yeah let's get to something all right, so I am going to make the taco dip now, and I've got one eight ounce block of cream cheese, and I've been, I've had it sitting out all day, so it's softened, and you want to do that because it's going to be hard to mix if you don't, and what I did is I put it in here, and I just took a spoon and creamed it up. That way, when you mix the sour cream and the taco seasoning, that it doesn't clump up, so I've got it a little creamed right now. I just did it with a spoon. It helps when it's uh, at room temperature. And now I'm going to add some sour cream. And I'm going to go a little bit at a time with the sour cream. Uh, it says to add 16 ounces. But I don't want it too liquidy. Okay, so I've got this mixed up. And it looks like it's a... A fairly good thickness. I haven't made taco uh, taco dip in a very long time, so 
But I'm going to go ahead and add the taco seasoning. And I have a pack of Taco Bell taco seasoning in here. So we're going to add that. We've had some packs of uh, taco seasoning laying around because when we make tacos, we use pato sauce. So we don't actually use these taco seasoning packs. So they're just kind of, <laughs> we just have a collection of them now. I'm just going to mix that into it. Okay, so I've got the taco seasoning mixed in and it actually tastes pretty good now. I don't know if it still holds true McCormick's taco seasoning. The seasoning itself is not like a total ground seasoning. It's got little chunks of stuff in it. And when I first made this years ago, that's what I used. And we didn't care for that. Taco Bell seasoning is actually ground. It's like real powdery and it's the perfect texture for a taco dip. So I'm just going to taste some here on a, taco, on a Tostito. It actually tastes really good. You could eat it like that. I'm going to take the 8x8, eight eight, spread it out in there, and put some uh, lettuce, tomato, and sh shredded cheese on, on top of it. That's if I don't finish it like this. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to show you a little uh, uh, potato chip bag uh, clip. Hack, I guess. <laughs> so, I used to have quite a few <laughs> clips for the potato chip bags, but they either broke or I have no idea. I think I have one left. So, I had these packs of paper clip uh, things that I got from the Dollar Tree, and it, I'll show you the pack. It comes in a pack of 10. And I got these at the Dollar Tree some time ago, probably well over a year ago. <laughs> and I just take them and use these as my potato chip bag clip. So, and it works just as fine. So, yeah, just wanted to show you that. All right, I got to cut up some lettuce and tomato to finish off the dip. And, yeah, and then I got to make the chocolate frosting for the peanut butter bars. All right, everyone, so I am ready to just put all this taco dip together. And I originally was going to do the 8x8, eight eight, but this is not a lot of taco dip. So if you're feeding a lot of people, you might want to double or triple that uh, recipe. So I am going to use the 6x6. Six six. And I'm going to use this because it's convenient and I have a lid for it. So... I can, uh, I don't have to worry about it getting smashed or anything like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and pour the dip in. Can't wait to just sit down and eat some of this stuff. Alright, I'm just going to spread it out in there. Yeah, I think we definitely would have had too many appetizers if I had gotten uh, meatballs and little smokies. That's blacky. Alright. And I cut up some lettuce and tomato. Just going to put it over here. I just want to put it all in there. And you can put whatever you want on it, obviously. Uh, some people put like black olives, jalapenos, things like that. I don't have any black olives and I don't like black olives too much. So I don't care about that. All right. 
throw some shredded cheese on it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in the refrigerator. And I got to make the chocolate frosting for the peanut butter bars and make the crab flake uh, mix. So, and I think we'll be done for appetizers for tonight. All right, everyone. So we are going to go ahead and make the chocolate frosting for the peanut butter bars now. So in the bowl, I already have a half a cup of softened butter. So that's one stick, half a cup. And then we're going to add... Actually, I think I'm going to just cream this up a little bit. It's always best to cream, like when you have butter and cream cheese, it's always best to cream it up first. I'm not putting cream cheese in here, but... All right. So now we're going to add a quarter cup of milk. And three cups of powdered sugar. Oops, <laughs> some of it bounced out. All right, we'll go with that. All right, so now we're going to go with a teaspoon of vanilla. And this is the same chocolate frosting I always make. And four tablespoons of cocoa, which I have here. All right. And then we're just going to mix it together. without throwing powdered sugar everywhere. Okay, so we have our chocolate frosting done now. And this is the best chocolate frosting recipe. So I'm gonna bring over the cookie, uh, <laughs> the peanut butter bar, the sh uh, cookie sheet of peanut butter bar, and we're gonna frost it. Okay, so our cookie, our <laughs> I keep calling it our cookie, our peanut butter bar has cooled off and now we're just going to frost it with this uh, chocolate frosting we just made. All right, so our peanut butter bars are done. They're frosted, and now I can just put that to the side until we're ready to cut into it. Uh, but yeah, it is good. Can't wait to have another piece. It's been a long time since we had these. So, All right, I'm going to put this to the side, and the last thing I have to do is make the crab flake mix. And that should take no time at all. And then it's a matter of sitting down and having some appetizers on this New Year's Eve. All right, everyone. We are set for the night with our snacks and appetizers. And I think I have everything here. So I went ahead and made the crab flake spread. And I'll use cream cheese and Ritz crackers for that. And I didn't record me cutting up that because I just did the video not too long ago. So if you haven't seen that video... I'll go ahead and link it in the description below if you want to check it out how I made that. Many of you make it your own way, so this is the way I like it. Uh, got my taco dip here. We've got our uh, shrimp cocktail uh, tray here. We've got marinated herring, which we use some crackers for that. And our peanut butter bars with chocolate frosting. So we are set. And I think that's it. That's all I need to make for tonight. <laughs> if that's not enough, I don't know what will be. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video out here. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I truly appreciate the support. And thank you for all your continued support for this year. And I hope to receive your support in the coming years. So thank you all for a wonderful year. It's been a great year for the channel, and I hope you all will continue to join me in the new year. So with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. And I'll see you next year.